So here we have x squared plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0. And the first step for quadratic inequalities is you want to replace the inequality sign uh, with an equal sign. So I'm just going to rewrite it, x squared plus 7. And instead of the inequality symbol, I'm going to put an equal sign to 0. So now I want to solve for x. So I guess I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. And I get x squared, positive 7 and negative 7 cancel out, is equal to 0 minus 7, which is negative 7. And if I square root both sides, the square root of x squared is simply x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 7. And I'm not sure if you've gone over imaginary numbers yet. Uh, so if you haven't, a square root can never be negative. A negative square root is an imaginary number. So since a square root can never be negative, there is no real solutions to this quadratic equation. So now what I want to do is move on to step number two. Um, step number two is I want to make my number line. Um, so what I like to do is make my number line from negative infinity to positive infinity. And since there's no real solutions, I'm not going to plot any numbers on my number line. So now we can move on to step number three. So since there's no numbers on our number line, our only interval is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Um, so we can pick any number from negative infinity to positive infinity. So I'm just going to pick the number 0 as my test point. So now I'm going to plug my test point into the original inequality. So everywhere there's an x, I'm going to put a 0. So x squared becomes 0 squared plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0. 0 squared plus 7 is just positive 7 is greater than or equal to 0. 7 is certainly greater than or equal to 0. That is a true statement. So since 0 makes this inequality true and satisfies the inequality, every number in the interval where 0 is, which is negative infinity to positive infinity, Every number from negative infinity to positive infinity is true, so we can color in the entire number line. So our answer in interval notation would be every number from negative infinity to positive infinity. So this is our final answer, and there is one more special case example which I want to go over. So here, instead of having x squared plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0, we have x squared plus 7 is less than 0. So our first step for solving quadratic inequalities is to replace the inequality sign with the equal sign. So I'm just going to rewrite it, x squared plus 7. Instead of a less than symbol, I'm going to put an equal sign to 0. I want to solve for x, so I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. And on the left, we're left with a x squared. The positive 7 and negative 7 cancel out. Are equal to 0 minus 7 is a negative 7. And now we have an x squared. So to get x by itself, I'm going to square root both sides. And the square root of x squared is just x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 7. So once again, a square root can never be negative. A negative square root is an imaginary number. So for this particular quadratic equation, there are no real solutions to this quadratic equation. So I'm going to move on to step number two and make my number line from negative infinity to positive infinity. And since there are no real solutions to the quadratic equation, I'm not going to plot any numbers on my number line. Now I'm going to move on to step number three. Step number three is pick my test points to test which intervals are valid. 
And since there are no real solutions to the quadratic equation, the only interval um, is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So I can pick any point um, in between uh, negative infinity and positive infinity. Um, so once again, I'll pick 0 as my test point. Now I'm going to plug my test point into the original inequality. So everywhere there's an x, I'm going to put a 0. So we have x squared becomes 0 squared plus 7 is less than 0. 0 squared plus 7 is just 7. Inequality symbol stays the same, is less than to 0. 7 is certainly not less than 0. That is not a true statement. Um, so since 0 makes the inequality not true, it does not satisfy the inequality, every number on the interval where 0 is also makes the inequality not true. It does not satisfy the inequality. So since 0 is on the interval negative infinity to positive infinity, every number from negative infinity to positive infinity does not satisfy the inequality, makes it not true. Therefore, since there is no number on the number line that makes this inequality true, there is no solution, and the answer is the empty set, which is a 0 and a diagonal line going through it. There is no solution. The solution is the empty set. So I hope this video helped you understand quadratic inequalities just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like the way I teach and you want to see some more of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, or like me on Facebook. That way you can see my videos as soon as I upload them. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.